And then I told Chief, it's not gay if it's underway. <gasps> It's the June Tech Pack! Tech Pack sticker! It's fire starter refill bag! Finely ground wood fiber and wax! Fasten it mechanics gloves! A tomahawk! Snap cap! Tech Pack! Tech Pack is a monthly tactical subscription box where you get a bunch of really cool stuff like this! July is gonna be their biggest, heaviest, thickest with three C's Tech Pack ever! You gotta order it before July 1st though if you want it! Use the code DONUT at checkout to get some extra stuff thrown into your Tech Pack! <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, Donut here. Guess what happened in Chaz Chop Larp Land again? The person got shot and killed, that's right. The fourth time in nine days, actually. The news is reporting one dead, 14-year-old injured in shooting near Seattle's Capitol Hill organized protest zone, also known as government LARPing. Two previous shootings in the zone left one person dead and two injured, and on June 22nd, Seattle officials ordered those occupying the area to leave. Seattle Police Department responded to multiple reports of shots fired at around 3 a.m. Police said callers had reported several unidentified people had fired shots into a white Jeep that had been at or near one of the barriers of the zone. Black male victim who was brought to the hospital following Monday morning shooting died. Another victim, 14-year-old black boy, was hospitalized with gunshot injuries. No suspects have been publicly identified and no one was in custody. I wonder why. Police said they were investigating the incident, but while searching the Jeep for evidence, discovered that the crime scene had been disturbed. As in, people went through the Jeep and probably stole a bunch of shit out of it completely fucking the crime scene. Typical thing we search for in a case like this or in a shooting like this weren't there, and it was abundantly clear to our detectives people had been in and out of the car after the shooting. Detectives are trying to gather information from other witnesses, but as has been the case in other crime scenes up in the area, people are not being cooperative with our requests for help. If you look online, there's a bunch of people who were like, why didn't the police help us when the, all, this, all the shooting started? They did. And you wouldn't help them, just like when the ambulance couldn't get to the shooting victims the other day because you wouldn't let the police in. You all suck and you're doing it to yourself. Seattle's chief of police says enough is enough here. Two men are dead and a child, a 14-year-old, is hospitalized and we don't know what is going to happen to that kid. Two African-American men dead at a place where they claim to be working for Black Lives Matter, but they're gone, they're dead now, and we've had multiple other incidents of assaults, rape, robbery, shootings, and so this is something that's going to need to change. No shit, chief. Somebody sent me a video earlier today and said police aren't playing around with Chop Chaz LARPing government people anymore, that they're going in and starting to clear it out. People are saying that this next video I'm about to show you happened there this weekend. If you look closely, the police are outnumbered probably 10 to 1. The tactics to disperse this crowd works very well. They start off by making the air very, very, very spicy in front of them to get the protesters back a little bit, and then they start hurling dozens of tear gas canisters into the crowd. <laughs> Well, that worked. Oh, back to the murders that happened this weekend, though. Someone else sent me this tweet right here by Malice, Antifa super stripper, the original big titty goth girlfriend. She says two guys in a stolen SUV shot up chop tonight. They came through and fired 15 shots and maybe 15 minutes later drove across Cal Anderson Field and opened fire again, then got murked by security on the ground. This is the SUV they were driving. Beautiful shot placement. Why does that sound like something I would say? I know you shouldn't glorify death and violence, but to be honest, if you try and shoot at innocent people and you deserve to get dealt with, the cops never even bothered showing up. So wait, do you need cops? Or do you not need cops? What are we doing here? I'm sure there will be an investigation. Oh no, wait, there was an investigation and they can't really do much about it because you idiots went through the SUV and screwed the crime scene up. 
if this doesn't tell you, Seattle, that you need to just destroy this place and take your city back, then I don't know what will. I found this post on the Protect and Serve subreddit. This post says, Unconfirmed reports. Motorists killed and wounded near Chaz were not shooters. Chaz just proved why we need trained police officers. It appears one or two innocent people will die based on Chaz's BS. It appears Chaz's security shot up the wrong SUV, and in the process, Chaz just demonstrated exactly why we need police officers. There's a comment by somebody that says a silver SUV does a drive-by shooting, then speeds away. Reportedly, one bystander injured non-critically. A white Jeep Cherokee on the street gets shot at by Chaz security, mistaken as the former. They kill one, critically wound one random innocent motorist. I wonder if Chaz security really did just kill an unarmed black teenager and an unarmed black man. I'll leave a link to that thread in the description below if you want to watch all the videos they posted there. But in some of the videos, you can see a silver SUV driving around and you can hear gunshots. But like they said, there was a wide SUV where people got shot up. As always, the Protect and Serve subreddit makes some pretty good points about it. It's hilarious. Chaz sets out to prove the community can handle policing better. Single-handedly has more issues of abuse and mistakes of power in a six square block area than the one million police officers in the rest of the country combined. Even if they didn't kill the wrong people, the level of hypocrisy is off the charts. They want body cams, full court hearings, all this for police use of force. Then they turn around and tell everyone to shut up and protect the security officers. They basically made the most corrupt group of quasi-police officers in the country. Rumblings around various social media is that after opening fire, the Chaz Shop security executed at least one occupant of the car who was still alive. I'll try to find it again, but there's a video where you can clearly hear one of Chaz security say at the end of the second shooting, Oh, you're still alive, huh? Followed by one more gunshot. That definitely sounded like, oh, you're not dead yet, huh? Followed by one gunshot. Chaz police, best police, right? Speaking of, more than a dozen businesses inside the CHOP zone on Seattle's Capitol Hill file a 56-page class action lawsuit against the city of Seattle. They're seeking unspecified damages to be determined at trial. Can't blame them, man. I would hate to be a business owner or someone who, you know, lives down there. It's insane. Take your city back, Seattle. Kind of seems like domestic terrorism to me at this point. In other news, police officers in Detroit are getting tired of being sworn by angry rioters, not peaceful protesters. One specific incident was caught on a cell phone camera the other day by one of the angry rioters. You escort us, you don't dictate. They sure got out of the way for that second police car. My dad told me that you shouldn't stand in front of cars in the first place. Detroit Police Chief James Craig came out Monday and defended the actions of the officers who rammed demonstrators with an SUV. Craig said the response was justified because demonstrators broke out the vehicle's back window and officers may have thought that they were being fired upon. The window was smashed after a car began lurching forward, he said. If I'm in that situation, at least I know what to do now. You gun it, slam on your brakes, throw people off of it, rinse and repeat until no one's in front of your car. You guys seen all the videos of people blocking roads, breaking people's windows, and jerking them out of their car, beating them nearly to death or to death? I'm not going to let myself sit in that situation either. Next up... Ken and Karen. You guys don't know about Ken and Karen yet, huh? It's trending on Twitter right now. St. Louis protesters were having a march through a very, very, very nice neighborhood, and this happened. <laughs>
We got Karen with her little 380. We got Ken with his AR-15. To be honest, Ken, I would be a little bit more scared of Karen than the protesters. She totally just flagged the back of your head with that gun. From what I understand, though, there's a little bit more to the story. They weren't just walking down the road and then they came out and started pointing guns at them. Somebody posted this on Twitter. Here's Ken and Karen's house right here. Here's the public road. This is where the protesters were walking through, which is private property. Ken and Karen, who own the house, actually spoke out, and this is what they had to say. It was like the storming of Bastille. The gate came down, and a large crowd of angry, aggressive people poured through. I was terrified that we'd be murdered within seconds, our house would be burned down, our pets would be killed. A mob of at least 100 people smashed through the historic wrought iron gate of Portland Place, destroying them, rushed towards my home where my family was having dinner outside, and put us in fear for our lives. How do you think this situation should have been handled? Should they have stayed inside with their guns, and if something happened, if someone tried to get in the house then you use your weapons or do you think they were okay and going outside and doing what they did let me know in the comments below oh and the memes are glorious ken and karen someone didn't call the manager an election year production ken and karen <laughs> oh oh no oh 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 no what do you think you're gonna look like what do you actually look like they done turned ken and karen into a gta loading screen Knew this stock photo would come to life at some point. Still this look. Polo, 1818 leather belt, Soho fit chinos. Training, zero dollars. Image not found. I wouldn't say completely untrained. At least he's not walking around with his finger on the trigger. Well, that's all I got for you fine people today. As soon as the video is released, I'm going to be over at twitch.tv slash Donald Operator. Probably playing some Tarkov. If you want to help support the channel, please subscribe to my second channel, Donut Vlogerator. We almost got like 215,000 subs on there now. I got a Patreon, a merch store with Bunker, and you can also subscribe to me for free using your Amazon Prime account over at twitch.tv slash Donald Operator. Everybody, please have a fantastic day. And, and always remember, talk about Whacker.